All right, I'm just jumping right into this. It's Hearts of Iron 4. It's the Kaiserreich mod, South America, Paraguay. Too long. Didn't read the lore. We took a part of Chaco from Bolivia, and they want it back. We also want land from Brazil and Argentina. We've enlisted a lot of people on our army, and we will continue until infants are shooting tiny baby guns at the enemy. Our leader, Estigaribia, did I say that right? Estigaribia is going to get reelected. He has some sort of hard-on for Huey Long in the American Union state, so if Mr. Long loses, he will come down to our place, and him and Estigaribaldi, Estigaribia, will have a spicy H scene. I won't show it because I don't want the video taken down, but also because it doesn't actually exist. At least I hope it doesn't. Anywhere on the internet. That is information I do not need in my life. Here's my division template. I just replaced two infantry with Artie on the main division template. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Also, I have a militia division that I'll use to plug gaps in the line that requires less manpower. That's about it. All right, our first target is Argentina. They have to fight cooler Argentina and Chile, so dogpiling sounds fun. When I hop into the kerfuffle, Bolivia occupies the land in the northwest, and so we're fighting them too. So how do we fight two countries that both have bigger armies and manpower than we do? Uh, this is fine. Everything is fine. Don't panic. Okay, the goal is to fight the deadliest guerrilla campaign ever. First, we need to give the Southern Syndicalists a lot of relief so they can push. So the more encirclements we do to Argentina, the better. Eventually, Argentina fucking dies and I take a piece of land. Note, I didn't take this part like an idiot, so I'll have to go in on the Syndicalists later. Granted, they probably would have declared war on us anyways, but that's for later. Now to continue destroying the Bolivian army. Some more encirclements later, and they are an extremely small number, so I grab the victory points and we win. I take back my land, and we release a puppet Bolivia, who will give us a few extra troops. With that now sorted, it's time to go to Brazil. I didn't think about the fact they were a part of the Reichspact, but screw it, I've got shit to be in places to do. So despite being in the Reichspact, we end up only fighting Brazilians, and I use the terrain to my advantage, encircling a lot of their divisions and evening out the playing field. I also avoid calling in Bolivia because I don't want a longer offensive line. Eventually, I start just snaking around, and they capitulate. But since I don't really have a way of fighting anyone else, and my mound power is being murdered with all the garrisoning I'm doing, I'm kinda stuck. So, while we wait on how the war in Europe goes, it's stalematey, but I think the Reichspact is gonna win, I decide to deal with Syndicalist Argentina, since they aren't a part of the Third International for some reason, and I really want that other land I missed. So, two arms, and the war goes rather well, as I find easy openings in their line to mass encircle their divisions. Eventually, the line completely breaks, and I just walk around everything until they surrender. With that, I now have made a big Paraguay, and a subservient Argentine puppet. With the war in Europe as slow as ever, I decide to end it there and not wait. Given the situation, I'm gonna headcanon that Paraguay separate piece at some point. Well, that's about it. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, show this to your significant other immediately. If you don't have one, well, I've got something to tell you. <gasps> Welcome to the sun-drenched tropical paradise of Isle Delfino.